Yeah, I don't know. We good? Okay, so we're talking about today about matching three stage colors. We created a letdown panel for this uh, Honda Ac or this Acura yesterday to decide how many coats of mid or pearl coat that we're going to need to match best. Okay, so uh, as you guys know, uh, sorry about this, Nick. I know you don't like me right now, but it's okay. Uh, we'll practice on retaping that. Uh, the best place that we need to try to match the paint, obviously, is where we're going to be spraying. Okay, it doesn't do any good to match at the hood. Uh, or a fender if we're going to be painting back here because those could have been previously painted, okay? So we want to make sure whatever the area is we're trying to match is going to get as close as possible. Uh, and I want you to walk over here, Eddie, and I think with in this light, this is a brand new vehicle. Take a, uh, a little look right here with the camera. Can you see the differences in color? Kind of back off. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera well, but this, this vehicle has never been worked on or painted, but we're already dealing with a mismatch with the plastic part against the metal. And we've discussed in class about what causes that. A lot of times it has to do with static or the uh, substrate that we're spraying over, such as the rubber, okay? So the first step in matching paint, guys, is making sure that you're in the right area and making sure you're actually reading the paint right. So in order to do that, I need a volunteer. Hit it, you. Come on up, buddy. <laughs> what I need you to do is put a little compound on that rag and then I want you to rub the paint up. Let's just do right, let's do right here and even down here. So what I'm gonna have him do is just take a little bit of compound and polish up this area that we're gonna be trying to match, okay? Where it's all rub it hard, yeah, yeah. That, there you go. Even down lower, let's do this whole edge. I always like to match my paint at a panel edge, okay? That's just the way it rolls for me. The human brain, for some reason, picks up that difference just like we saw on that bumper a while ago. We can see that difference because of that line in between there, right? If I just hold this pan, this, uh, this uh, spray out in the middle of a panel, I can tell, but I can always tell better on an edge, okay? Just the way it is, so thank you there, sir. So we got a pretty true color. We wanna make sure it's good and clean. And the first thing we're gonna do is just hold it up there like it is, okay? And try to see what it looks like. And then we're gonna turn the lights off and use the sun gun, okay? So for right now, y'all kind of get behind me where you can see the color match. And I want everybody at different angles uh, because the paint is gonna look different over here than it does over there versus what it does looking straight on. So we gotta look at those all the way around the bend. So what I like to do, we're gonna do this flat part. And you can see here is just base with no pearl on it, right? As we move up, I want everybody's opinion on what layer they think uh, looks the closest to this door. May not be dead on, but what do you think on this side? What are y'all seeing? Two. 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 You got a two over here, a two over here. Straight on. Anybody that's right behind me, what do you think? Two. Two. Three. Who, a three? Three. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you, you're, you're out. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so we, everybody seems to be having the two. <laughs> so what I need to do, you got the sun gun. Nick, run over to the door, the walk-in over there and turn one light switch up and the rest of the three down. What we're gonna do is kill the lights and you have that sun gun ready. All right, so go ahead, fire the sun gun up now. And now what we're getting is more of a true sunlight look and we can really tell, you know, one's not bad at all, is it? No. And I, I pull the battery out and reset that. I think it's getting a little low. Hit it one more time, go ahead, there you go. Yeah, she's died. Go ahead and turn the lights back on. <laughs> Anybody got a phone light handy? <laughs> Let's see what it looks like. We won't get the true. There we go. Yeah. Not bad, but do y'all see? That's a good example. That happened for a reason. Uh, the, the, uh, the phone light gives us a pretty good uh, indication, but not as good as the sun gun, right? I say two. So most people see, I, I really like the one, but I think it needs a little more. So two is pretty much where we're going to be with this, okay? <laughs> it's just give out, ain't it, man? <laughs> okay, turn the lights back on. All right, so like what I want you to understand, right here, what I want you to understand about this is a few things. When you make a letdown panel, you got your base, which is no pearl. Some people call it a ground coat, or it could be called a base coat. One coat, two coats, three coats, four coats, five coats. You don't have to necessarily go that far, but it's a good idea too. 
Always, when you make, if you go to the trouble to make one of these, keep it, put the paint coat on it, save it. You get that color comes in again. You've already got your spray out with your gun, your material, and it's more accurate. You got something to go by, okay? So this is how you make a letdown panel. Uh, you do need to clear it. Uh, also, a couple things you need to know about this for quizzes and tests. When you make a letdown panel, the panel should be setting the same way of the panel you're gonna be spraying. So if I'm doing a quarter panel, I wanna spray it this way. If I'm doing a hood, I wanna spray it this way. That's just a personal thing. The second thing, the air pressure on the gun needs to be the same and the same gun you're using when you make your spray out and also the same environment. You wanna match everything just as close as you can to what you're gonna be spraying so you get a true feedback on that, okay? All right, so probably, uh, this video will probably end up on Blackboard. I say probably. Uh, we'll see how my technical skills work. YouTube. It'll work. It'll probably <laughs> go to YouTube and have a link. I've got a page. Uh, but I'll give you that information in class. And uh, if you have any further questions about this, catch me in class.